everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey, where we're looking just real super fine. Look at that! Look at our little fluffy thing on top of our head. It like looks so realistic. I think it was made of horse hair. Anyway, I have the complete set on. Now. Oh no, that's right. I need because now that I just turned level thirty-five. I can have the entire set equipped. And yeah, I was like, I better get an achievement for that. This is my first time having an entire set equipped. So I have plus 50% damage with warrior abilities. What does this do? Okay. Okay. It looks so good, too. Oh, man. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I should really probably equip a different set of daggers. Yeah. But the damage when attacking from behind is so good. No, I just need to switch. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's see, any spears? Nope. Alright, we're good to go. Now I just have to find our quarry. He's in the, by the sea north of the cursed land of Oedipus. Where's the cursed land of... Ah! By the sea... Is that like here? This is the... Okay. thought it was going to be somewhere over here. Oh, well, no, it says north of the cursed land of Oedipus. And that, it wouldn't be in the sea, so it might actually be, it might actually be one of these. Okay. All right, then. Regardless, I shall search. Prom night. We're all dressed up. Come on. I will. Let's go. Right on. And then I'll be like, hey guys, I found it. <laughs> well, it wasn't either one of these. Because <sighs> I ran into this and it was a camp of uh, really angry boars. And this was a camp of angry humans. So, so it looks like when I looked yeah. it up on good old Google, that he's just to like the northwest of here. So technically he's still in. Apparently there's a bandit raid going on. This uh, town is very torn up too. But I've got other things to do. Ah, yes, okay. Well, that's weird because I thought they would, uh, oh, he's doing something. There he is. Jeez. Man, that's unpleasant. Somebody's Ooh. cart, though. Okay, hang on. Is there, like a giant party going on? I realize I'm not gonna insta kill him like this, but I will get a lot of damage. Oh yeah, and he's got all the flammable stuff. Oh my god. Well, here we go. So I don't know how to explain this, really. But what I've been doing is just taking pot shots at him with my predator sh with my it's the predator shot just up and down this mountain and then occasionally I'll sneak up behind him and like you know stealth attack him from behind but yeah he's down like halfway maybe maybe a little more halfway <laughs> uh, it's been fun I think I've spent like 20 minutes or so, maybe not, like 15, doing this. 
This episode's gonna be weird. See, now that he's not looking for me, technically, I'll probably just sneak up on him. And then he'll get all angry and I'll run a little bit far enough away. And then I'll just start taking pot shots at him again. Hopefully I'll have included that, but I guess since I'm talking, hopefully it'll make sense to you. This is kind of what I've been doing. I was sure that there was something. Oh, I can't assassinate him while he's looking for me. Kind of. Um, where did his body go? Okay. Um, that I... <laughs> I just got this Spartan armor, which is like warrior abilities, and I just like pot shot it and assass like assassin sniped the guy. <gasps> Sorry, excuse me. Yeah, I didn't think I was gonna have much use for uh, flames. Like, if I was shooting from a distance, kind of, but the problem is, is that he, anytime you shoot at somebody, they, like, zero in on your exact location, like, where you're at. So, he would take, like, a little bit, but not a lot, and if I was meleeing and lighting him on fire, I would just light myself on fire. Can't. I'm not even close to wearing that yet, but... to you to the next one. That one was level 38, which I thought he was supposed to be level 36 or 37, but but I know where this one is, so maybe we'll get two of them in. It's gonna take a while. Once again, I'll see you on the other side. I'm gonna steal this boat. Get to, I'm, I'm gonna get about halfway across, and then I'm gonna steal the boat, but nobody's on it. So it's obviously for me. <laughs> Let's do this! Also, after this, I'm gonna go talk to the Sphinx guy. Or gal. I don't know, I think he said it was a guy. Let's see if I can't... Although I might actually do a waiting thing, because I do more damage if I... At least with this acid. Wow, we just go right into that shallow water. Let's see. He's a, an archer? Oh, he's training with somebody. Who's he training with? Is that... Is that my... Nicholas or a different one? Oh my gosh, I think it's my dad. Oh my huh. gosh. Looks like I missed a fight. Oh my gosh. Okay, I was like well, it, it looks like I missed a fight. What? I don't understand. <laughs> Okay. Cassandra, what are you doing here? I came to kill him. He wouldn't have been a challenge for you. Oh, ho, thanks, Dad. I'm glad our paths have crossed again. Dad! And I'm wearing my freaking. I'm wearing my Spartan armor. 
I never thought I'd see you again. What have you been doing? You made me realize in Megaris that I lost my honor long ago. There is no way to go back and make it up to you. But I can fulfill my promise to Stentor now. This is the last place I expected to find you. I left Stentor with the greatest responsibility a man could carry. I couldn't leave him to face it alone. How thoughtful. Killing these champions will weaken the Athenian hold on the region and destroy the rebels' morale. Leaving Stentor to pick up the pieces in Megaris was a mistake. I could not stay, not after what happened. I wasn't fit for command. Neither is Stentor, but he isn't running from it. Oh, interesting point. He can't You've go back. You've changed so much. This is who I've always been. You just weren't there to see it. I will never be able to change that. But I can do something now for someone who needs me. There are things Stentor must hear to succeed. I wish you'd helped me back in Sparta. But Stentor does need help now, even if he doesn't want to admit it. Stentor is as much your family as I am. You can still be there for him. I don't know if that's a good I idea. Will. He might she actually kill him. Me, but I'm glad to have met him. In a way. Goodbye. Cassandra of Sparta. Thanks, Dad. Jeez. I'm actually gonna reload and save. Oh, well, that was nice, though. I didn't have to do anything. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back on, like, an auto-save, and <laughs> I'm gonna save, because I feel like that was... I don't know. I feel like... I feel like Stentor might be too proud and will uh, execute Nikolaus as a traitor, but I, I ain't about that. I ain't about that life. Like, I don't know. The, the one thing is already gonna bite me in the butt, and as long as these two things are unrelated, <laughs> and that my one decision to kill a bad person doesn't affect literally everything down the line, um, I wanna keep Nikolaus alive, and I'll save Scum to do that. I ain't afraid. <laughs> I was trying to stop right at the edge very dramatically. But I stopped just in time for my animation to go off and throw me backwards, but the horse kept going. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Ki- <laughs> Oh my god! Ow, I just broke my neck. Don't- don't trust me with animals, ever. I'm so I know that you can get out, but I'm so sorry. That was so funny. This is the last place I expected to find you. I left Stentor with the greatest responsibility a man could carry. I couldn't leave him to face it alone. How thoughtful. Killing these champions will weaken the Athenian hold on the region and destroy the rebels' morale. Okay, I kind of want to try this one instead of this one because I'm, I'm hoping this is like a gruff but like understanding. You know, like I don't want to like the man's been beating himself up for years. You know, I'm like, I don't know, Cassandra. I don't know, at least I feel like Cassandra would understand that. You know, it's like there's only so much, like, you know, she can't really forget but maybe she can eventually forgive you know you came all this way to help stentor good he needs it it's about time i started protecting those i care about yeah you're right you've changed so much this is who i've always been you just weren't there to see it yeah i will never be able to change that but i can do something now for someone who needs me. There are things Stentor must hear to succeed. Okay. Okay, so this is this is something big. So like if there are things then okay, here's the thing though. It could possibly be that by killing Nikolaus, he will be able to tell Stentor what he needs to hear to help Sparta. 
and so Stentor will be able to help Sparta, but we'll still have to kill Nikolaus as a traitor. Or I, or I don't even know if my dad will not go, but um, if I tell him to not go, maybe Stentor doesn't hear and he needs to hear. Sparta forces are weakened, um, but Nikolaus is still alive. But at this point, it only matters to me if Nikolaus is alive, but this seems like the better decision to make because hopefully Stentor can maybe find it in him to forgive him as well. We'll see. I wish you'd helped me back in Sparta. Nobody's perfect, you know? But Stentor does need help now, even if he doesn't want to admit it. Stentor is as much your family as I am. You can still be there for him. I will. He may hate me, but I'm glad to have met him. In a way. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's the thing, is that she doesn't really hate him. Cassandra of Sparta. She doesn't really hate uh, Stentor. It's more like he's just... Well, thanks for uh, doing all the heavy, uh, hard work. I am going to fast travel this point. Uh, I'm kind of sad that my helmet isn't going to show up in cutscenes, but that's okay. I don't mind for the talking ones, but I was kind of hoping maybe for, uh, maybe like different ones, like where I walk out of the, can I talk to you? No, we're just going to be really stoic. Dad, you need to put more clothes on. I worry about you. Also, oh man, it's a military fort. I wanted to go look at the ruins. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Weird. What? Oh, I guess it's just a little... It was a part of... This was like a whole... Okay, I see. It was a whole wall. I thought it was a house. But I was like, why is this such a tiny little room? But like... I was like, this doesn't make any sense. But it's just an un, it's just a walkway, essentially. under Underneath the wall. But yeah, I think... Uh, let's see... I'm not changing my breastplate, but it is a pretty cool looking one. Um, I just freaking need to find this last one. In the northern part of Oropos Height. Well, I think I'm gonna go talk to Sphinx person now. Wherever, wherever Sphinx person might be. There. Bye, Dad. I don't know. I, I like that she still calls him Dad, too. Like, because he is. Like, I don't know. You can't just call some rando biological dad your dad. Plus, that guy had, like, he wasn't, the guy wasn't interested in a family. He was interested in a legacy, you know? Holy cow, that is, is that a shark? Or, like, a giant tuna fish. Are there sharks in this area? <laughs> I didn't think that's a, that's a giant shark. Why the? There's two giant. What? Or maybe that one's not a shark. That one might be a fish. Or I mean, sharks are fish, but it might be like not a shark fish. <laughs> also, like I would think. I mean, that's probably the only place to store them, but I think that would draw more of them to you. If that's what you want, I guess. Look at them wiggle. That's disgusting. It's awesome. <laughs> I thought this was like a lake. Maybe it's not. Get inland sharks. Inland seas with sharks. Yee! Yee! Ain't about that life. Well, I just had computer issues for the last 30 minutes where I was trying to record, so hopefully this doesn't explode. That's, that's gonna be the little interrupt. It's gonna be like 0. 0.2 seconds for you, but it was like 30 minutes of excruciating pain for me! Let me have it. Just let me... Oh my gosh, let me have it. I am... I'm probably approaching from the wrong direction, but... Interesting. He must be the one Pythagoras mentioned. This is really cool. 
These look like things that people put on later. Maybe. Is there a puzzle for me? The layer of the Sphinx. Impressive. Oh my, I'm Mystios. Oh my. What are you doing? Oh my. My name is Gorgias, and I have spent my life researching the past of Viotia and the Peloponnese. I'm looking for the other half of this amulet. Ah, yes, I know of items like this. I was seeking a piece similar in size. It was the one tracking down its final location in Locris. He went to retrieve it, but never returned. I will do everything I can to find your missing apprentice. I appreciate the help, Mistios. I am very worried about my pivots. Where was your apprentice heading? My pivots. We heard rumors of a sighting near the tomb of many calves in Diotia. What was Pibos look? There was a cave discovered that might contain items of great significance. I sent him to validate the claims before I made the journey myself. Uh huh. Of course, of course. So he's like a very, very early archaeologist, but I'll find more out of what a scholarly type, probably. Okay, that was not what I, I was expecting things to be a little bit more like uh, mystical, I guess. And I was expecting to have to like, I don't know, solve a sphinx problem. Man, the guy's got like excavators and everything. But he didn't even really go and he's like, I'm researching the past. I'm like... It, okay, but this is obviously completely distinct from anything else in, like, the Greek past. Like, I felt like we'd have more of a conversation about, like, you know, the actual origins of it, you know? Or, like, not even actually origins, but, like, the fact, like, we'd acknowledge the fact that it's weird, you know? That it's very distinct and unique. But, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. That, that was just very blasé. But, anyway... I'm gonna go now. I have no idea how long this episode will be. Hopefully decent. Hopefully a decent size. But, but yeah, my dog is staring at me sadly. So we're gonna go on a walk. But thank you all for joining me. I do appreciate it. I'm glad we were able to see Nikolaus again. I'm glad I was able to get this Sphinx thing answered. And I'll probably just go hunt down the last champion and do that. I just wanted to grab this while I was in the area. So anyway, thank you all again for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one.